our source model of SodaStream stopped carbonating. Before starting, you should know if yours is still under warranty. That's two years. And only SodaStream and its agents are authorized to service them. Repair by a third party voids the warranty. That means you. So if you want to continue, here's what you'll need. There are four screws on the bottom and two screws under the front, and you're ready to begin taking it apart. Carefully pry at the gap to separate the front cover, and it just slides off, revealing the circuit board and battery. The lights are activated by a Hall Effect chip that senses a magnetic field, and the battery illuminates LEDs 1, 2, and 3 and 4. Try this. Hold a magnet against the front of the machine. Separate the outside cover a bit and use the pry tool to snap it free. Then slide off the outside cover. Remove these from each side of the unit. This metal bar needs to come out. Then the white part slides off. Oh, that little spring that flew off? There's one on each side to remove. Remove both of these, too. There are three screws here and one screw here to remove. Press on the prongs to release the small plate. Gently pry the two tabs on each side to unsnap the long plate. Now you can separate the two sides. Wait, did a tiny button-shaped metal thing just drop onto the table from God knows where? Here's the magnet, and it goes right here, so put it back or your lights won't work. Now I finally got it apart, and you can see right away that the little tube that carries the CO2 is hanging loose. The real problem is the plastic threaded connector broke apart. Now we have to remove the part. And there it is. So where can I get a replacement part? If your soda stream is still under warranty, Contact them. Ours is nine years old. A company in Slovakia makes a version of the part, but they told me their minimum order is 50 parts. There's some other good technical information here, too. I went to Craigslist and was surprised to find some good deals. Some very good deals. All over the place. I got a Terra and I'm willing to catabolize it to get our nice source machine working again. The Terra is very easy to open. Just pry the tabs toward the outside and the cover comes right off. Don't damage the two prongs on the top. This is already apart, but just carefully pry it apart to pop it out on each side. The front side is easy to unscrew. Just tilt and slide out the main assembly. The back side is a little tricky, but these long hemostats worked well. Finally, a perfect replacement part. So it went from this to this. Now that we've got bubbly water again, I can take the time to find a better solution to this common problem.